and welcome back to my channel. So today is a fun day. On my Instagram lately, I haven't been posting as much as I want, but I've been busy. Um, I'm doing this thing right now where I'm posting looks based on my Dungeons and Dragons dice. If you don't know, um, I play Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, uh, which is an RPG game or a role playing game. Um, it uses dice to do, it's like a combination of acting and math. And I don't even like math, but I love this game. But I I have slowly been collecting dice over the like year, maybe two years that I've been playing. And I've gotten very into dice and some of my dice are really pretty and I wanted to combine my makeup with my dice. So uh, I haven't done videos on them. I have posted some, a couple like looks. Before we get started, uh, I don't have any tea today. I already had some earlier and I just didn't feel like making any. So I can't tell you tea, but uh, you know what? We're just gonna actually dive in, okay? So, as I said in my intro, we are going to do uh, my look based off my dice today. Dungeons and Dragons has been really good for me in just in terms of keeping social and uh, also keeping like acting stills up and everything and I've become a bit of a dice goblin. These are my dice that we're doing. They're my, they're called jumbo dice. These are not a normal size. So this is what they look like. This is the full set. Uh, I'll show you just the d20. But these are called, I believe, Jade Forest. They're by Viridian. Um, if I can, I'll link them down below. It's a beautiful, it's a really great site for dice and they do 3D printed condition rings, which is a thing in, in a lot of RPGs is conditions and I won't get into it. But um, these are one of the sets that I got and they're, they're fairly reasonably priced. I just love that they are just beautiful green with this beautiful gold filigree. It's got these like cool symbols, like this is the D4. It's just really pretty and I wanted to do something a little more creative off this. Let me put my dice down and I'll explain a little bit more. So yeah, I've just been doing these looks um, and I've been trying to get more creative with them. So the idea today is like a green and gold, like almost fairy type thing, I don't know. Um, we'll see where it takes me, but I'm mostly going to be using the ColourPop So Jaded palette. Uh, this is a Kathleen Lights collaboration. It's one of their first big ones. That's what it looks like. I want to mostly use like this one here called Geodude and a couple like like a couple other things in here, like some like the yellows and the golds. But I also have my Menagerie Cosmetics Feral palette, which looks like this. And I want to try and use like this shade here, which is Fenris, just to, you know, have a little more of an ivy kind of feel to it. I don't, didn't want to just go emerald. I just wanted a little bit of a different kind of green than I'm used to. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I have my base down. I think I want to go directly into Geodude, which is this color here. Just kind of like the weird army green color. I think it'll be nice as a transition though. Uh, so that is what I'm going to go into first with my into my crease. I'm also going to go into a little bit of my precious, which is just like a white, well, like cream colored kind of shade, which is close to my skin tone. And I'm going to set under my brow just to make sure this blend is nice and smooth and easy. I'm basically just going to go in with Geodude and maybe a little bit of my precious. I'm going to just build this up a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth with it. Okay, I'm okay with that right now. So originally I was gonna go into Fenris in the Menagerie palette to maybe go in with this, but I just realized the jade color from Stone, uh, my so jaded palette is actually what more what I want. So I'm gonna go in with jade. great so I like where that is I just realized I've been talking for about a minute and it wasn't filming so what I did was I went a little bit in here with Ivy from the Menagerie Cosmetics palette but I didn't like how it was looking so instead to deepen everything up I'm going in with stoned from the so jaded palette which is like a, it's a dark brown but leans a little more cool tone I don't know I think it's gonna work very well so that is what I'm doing now So I don't know what to do. I want to add the element of gold that I see here. I definitely want to add glitter and I have a gold glitter that I want to 
add do I have a yellow gold glitter? I need to check. But in terms of like the actual lid, I'm not sure if I want to cut crease and do anything with like a shimmer. I don't know. Uh, I'll be right back when I decide. So I want to be able to match this gold as closely as possible. Um, and I'm going to go with it on my lid and I'm going to use a glitter. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in this is my little single pan palette. I'm going to go in with this. So this is from With Love Cosmetics. It is the color Champagne. The gold matches pretty close. It's champagne, but it's more on the gold side. And it's a pretty close match to that. That's what I'm going to do. I might put on the actual lid, though, a little bit of a just probably this eye, like jade color that I have going on in the crease. I'll probably put that on the lid or something just to add a base before putting the glitter on. That's what we're going to do. Very, very pretty. Okay, and from here, I'm going to quickly do just a line of eyeliner on top. I'll do this off camera. I just want to line my lid. I'm um, just going with my NYX, that's the point, boy, because I love him. It's really easy. Um, and then I'll be right back because I want to then start my under eye, start my face before we go into everything else. So before I put any foundation or anything like that on, I'm actually going to go in with my Dark Circle Concealer from NYX. It's kind of like a bit of corrector. So I'm going to use a little bit of that under my eyes and on certain spots before I go in with foundation. So let me do that first. So now I'm going to go in with the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation in LN2. I haven't worn a lot of foundation recently just because, of course, you know, I'm wearing a mask, so I don't, and I typically don't wear a lot of foundation, but I do love this foundation so, so, so much. So I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to pump on my hand, and I'll just blend it out with my sponge. So now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camo concealer in Fair Beige. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, I am gonna add just a little bit of this uh, blush sticks just to add a little bit of color to my face before I set it and work on my under eye. This is just a cream product from ColourPop. I actually don't, I think this, oh here it is. This is under pressure. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Now I'm just going in with my Beauty Bakery Flower in um, Oat and I'm just setting under my eyes and a little setting on my face. Very, very light. Now I'm going to take Jade and run that under my eyes. Just blending out with Geodude and My Precious. I'm doing all the same colors except for the gold right now on the bottom, essentially. All right. So now I'm going to go off camera because I'm going to do some little detail work. Um, I'm going to add my freckles. So I'm using the kimchi chic, um, I believe it's called candy freckle or something like that. It's just this little freckle thing. I'm going to go under here uh, like I like to do with my Folklore Beam Heavy Metallic Eyeliner in Platinum. And I actually might run some of this through my brows just to add a little gold there. And I'm continuing the gold theme and doing my under eyes with the cream gel liner, the color pop one, and I believe this is Dirty Talk. Yes. So we're all going to do that, and I'm going to be right back. And I'm back, uh, glitterified. I've got some glitter in my brows, some freckles on that you can't see because my camera is not great. Yeah, okay, so we are going to move on now to my face. Uh, I am going to go in with a little tiny, tiny bit of bronzer. Not a ton, because I want this to be more of like a blush heavy, ethereal, fairy kind of deal. But we're just gonna go in with my Maybelline City Bronzer in light, or like 100, like the lightest one they have. Just for a, just for a little bit of a natural bronze color. <laughs> I want to use a little bit, I recently refound this, it was in a drawer somewhere. This is my NYX Matte Bronzer in Light. Uh, this is the color. It's a little red, but I want to use a little bit of that here as well, just to see how that works for me. Now for blush, I don't know. I sort of want to use a color that's not right for me at all, which is French Tarte. 
or something like that, like a yellowy blush. Something that I don't normally do. That's the kind of mood I'm in. And like add a little bit of pink. No, I should really do pink, shouldn't I? Let me figure it out. I'll be right back when I figure that out. Okay, so I'm kind of going to go in with a couple different blushes. It's going to be a bit crazy and look probably a bit crazy, but it's kind of the point of this whole look. I'm going in with a couple of these blushes from my Vanilla Cream Truffle Blush from BH Cosmetics. Probably mostly this one and maybe a little of that one. And then I'm also going in with my uh, ColourPop and Kathleen Lights blush in So Retrograde, which is orange with a bit of shimmer. I'm going to probably use that to deepen up in the hollows. I'm going to figure it all out. It's, again, it's going to look crazy, but here we go. Okay, a little bit of a sunburnt look. That's okay. I'm going to keep going. Uh, with a little bit of highlight. I just want something like simple, ethereal. So I'm probably just gonna go in with my Milk and Honey palette from Beauty Bakery. Probably just with a little bit of mix of Oh Honey and spoiler alert and just mix these two together. This looks insane. I know. I'm actually gonna go off camera now to do my lashes. I am gonna go in with lashes. I haven't figured out which ones yet. So I will tell you when I've done them. And I'll come back with all that on and then we'll move on to the lip. Alright, I'm back with lashes on. Um, I don't think I applied this one very well. But also, like, just in general, my eyes are two different shapes. So that's what we're going with. They're pretty. I ended up using these 3D Faux Mink lashes from AOI Studio in the style Jean. But now we're going to move on to lips. I have taken my beauty blender and just, like, put whatever was left on there as residue on my lips as you can see to wipe them out because I want to do a different technique to get it a little bit more of an ethereal vibe. I'm using this ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Bit O Sunny. It's just a red lip but it's a blotted so it's gonna I'm gonna concentrate the color here and here and then blot it out to kind of give this like ethereal feeling. So we'll see how it goes. All right, the lip is done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go off camera and uh, brush my hair out, put some accessories on, and then I'm gonna bring you in for a close up. And this is the finished look all complete. Uh, this is the dice again for reference. What, how do you think I did? I think I did pretty well, especially with the eyes. I sort of liked that it went into more of an ethereal fairy look, um, not so strict to what the dice. Like, I look like a person who owns this dice, and that's kind of what I was going for. If you wanted to see some of the other looks I've done with based off my dice, you can actually follow me on Instagram. I'll link it down below. And if you, I, you want to see more filmed versions of my dice sets, like me filming the tutorial, let me know in the comments. I would love to know if that's something people are interested in, and if people are interested, I would love to share more stories about D&D and life while I do my makeup. That's maybe something I'm interested in as well. Other than that, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more content, um, makeup-based content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I upload as often as I can, but other than that, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!